and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to walk you through one of the most rewarding parts of homesteading or backyard farming, raising day old baby chicks all the way until they're old enough to start laying eggs. Whether you're completely new to chickens or just looking for some tips, this video will give you all the information you need to get started. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Jara and I primarily teach people how to garden and grow food, but I also like to make videos about my other homesteading interests like raising chickens and keeping bees. I have had my flock of 40-ish chickens over two years now and we have raised baby chicks many times so I definitely have a lot of expert tips to share with you first you gotta get some baby chicks maybe you bought some at a store local hatchery or incubated your own or maybe you bought them online and they were shipped to you I have a whole video that gives you four different ways of acquiring chickens which will help you decide where to get yours I will link that video in the description below for this video we will be following my newest generation of baby chicks that I purchased online so they were shipped to me and arrived in this little box as day-old baby chicks I have a mix of three different breeds here, Midnight Majesty Morans, Prairie Bluebells, and Sapphire Olive Eggers. Now it's time to set up the brooder, which will be the baby chick's home for the first few weeks of life. Think of the brooder as a safe, warm nursery for your baby chicks. Use some sort of a container like a box, old dog cage, or a large plastic tub. I'm using a large plastic storage tote box that I got from Home Depot. The most important thing here is warmth. Baby chicks don't have mature feathers yet, so they are unable to regulate their own body temperatures. Normally, a hen will sit on her babies to keep them warm. Since I don't have a hen to sit on these chicks, I added a special heating plate made to keep baby chicks warm. I'll link to the one that I'm using below in the description. I don't recommend the use of a heating lamp because they easily fall or break and catch things on fire. I don't have to worry about that with this heating plate. Baby chicks are born knowing how to eat, chick feed, and drink water right away. So no worries, you don't have to train them. Place some containers with baby chick formulated feed and fresh water. I like this set because they have legs to keep them elevated off the floor. Baby chicks will just walk all over inside the water and food which makes a big mess. They can't do that so much when the feeder and water are a little bit elevated. Lastly you will need to keep the brooder clean. A lot of people will use pine shavings as a bedding material since it keeps things dry and clean. We like to use a few layers of newspaper. Baby chicks are messy and this will have to be cleaned out and changed almost every day. Some other items I like to help raise healthy baby chicks include a packet of electrolytes. I mix it into their water as per the directions and give it to them immediately after they have arrived. The process of shipping baby chicks is very stressful on them. They have not eaten in one, maybe two days, so it's nice to give them an electrolyte boost. Put your brood box with baby chicks in a safe place that provides shelter from the elements like rain. Baby chicks attract all sorts of predators and snakes because they make for an easy meal. Baby chicks can't fend for themselves like older mature chickens and roosters. Make sure the brood box is predator proof. We sit the box up high on a table inside of our screen porch and put a piece of quarter inch hardware cloth over the top opening so snakes can can't get in. If you have an existing flock of chickens, do not put the baby chicks inside the coop with them right away. The older chickens will attack them. If you put them in the coop, make sure there is some sort of barrier so they are closed off from the rest of the chickens. Over the next few weeks, you will see that baby chicks grow very fast and will start growing out their feathers. They should be fully feathered when they are about six to eight weeks old. They can now regulate their own body temperature and can be moved out of the brooder and into their permanent home, the coop. At this stage, they can handle outdoor temperatures a little bit better but make sure the coop is predator proof and provides plenty of ventilation. If you have an existing flock, it might be a good idea to block part of the coop so the older chickens don't attack the new baby chicks or steal their food. The baby chicks have not been accepted into the flock yet. The older chickens will get used to them over time and then you can remove any barriers. Chickens like to sleep on what are called roosting bars. It is important to add some roosting bars at a low enough level for the baby chicks to reach. I find that tree branches and two by four pieces of wood work best. Put them no more than 12 12 inches off the ground and raise the roosting bars higher as the baby chicks get older. It is best to feed baby chicks what is called starter or grower feed. It is higher in protein than the regular laying hen feed. This helps support their rapid growth. You can also supplement their diet with kitchen scraps, bugs, and grains as they get older. I find that small one day to two week old baby chicks really love to munch on watermelon as a hydrating treat. Once they get to the age where they start laying eggs, switch on over to regular egg laying hen feed. This type of feed has additional nutrients like calcium that will help them lay eggs with strong eggshell. I also like to add some crushed oyster shells for added calcium and grit which helps them digest better. I put both of these supplements 
into any small pan inside the coop. The chickens will take them as needed. Depending on the breed, your baby chicks should start laying eggs at around five to six months of age. Make sure there are plenty of egg laying boxes to help train them to lay eggs in the correct egg laying box instead of like on the floor. I like to put this wooden egg inside the box to help them figure out where to lay their eggs. Or you can use some white golf balls. The first few eggs are smaller in size than what a standard egg should be. That is how I know they started laying eggs. I just start finding smaller eggs in my egg boxes. I got these baby chicks in May and they started producing in October. So it took about five months. They will continue to lay eggs for many years with the first two years being the most productive. And there you have it guys. Raising day old baby chicks to egg laying hen or pullet age isn't as hard as it might seem. With the right care and setup you'll have a flock of happy hens providing you with nutritious eggs every day. If you found this video helpful be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. I invite you to check out my backyard chickens playlist for more information on raising chickens. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.